Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third international conference in science, technology, engineering and mathematics IC STEM 2021 closing ceremony. My name is Farah Najiharazali and I will be the MC for today's closing ceremony. Before we proceed, a gentle reminder from the organizer. Please mute your microphone and we seek your attention to stay until the end of the ceremony. Our most gratitude to Allah the Almighty for His grace and permission that we are able to gather in this virtual closing ceremony. Yang berbahagia, Professor I.R. Dr. Robia Binti Yunus, Deputy Director General, on behalf Director General, Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia. Yang berbahagia, Professor Dr. Mazlan bin Abdul Ghaffa, Vice Chancellor, University Malaysia Terengganu. Yang berbahagia, Datuk Shaharuddin bin Abu Sohot, Secretariat Division, Policy Planning and Research Division, Ministry of Higher Education. Professor Technologist Dr. Muhammad Zamri bin Ibrahim, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academy and International UMT, Professor Datuk Dr. Noraini Binti Idris, President of National STEM Association Malaysia, and Adjunct Professor in UMT, Dr. Hajar Roziah Binti Abdullah, Director Educational Policy Planning and Research Division, EPRD, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Dr. Hajah Rosnariza binti Abdul Halim, Director Matriculation Division, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Associate Professor Dr. Wan Zuhainis binti Saad, Director Academy Excellence Division, Department of Higher Education. Tuan Wahi bin Nordin, Director IPTA Student Entrance Division, Department of Higher Education. Tuan Salim bin Abdul Ghani, Director, Terengganu State Education Department. Associate Professor, Dr. Laili Haji Cik Rose, Director, STEM Foundation Center of UMT and Chairman of IC STEM 2021. All keynote and plenary speakers, Professor Dr. Valerie Ackerson, Professor Dr. Kamisa Osman, Associate Assistant Professor Dr. Choi Ban Hang, Associate Professor Dr. Rachel Sheffield, Dr. Kesara Amovutivon, Senior Officers from Ministry of Higher Education, Ministry of Education, and University Malaysia Terengganu, Distinguished Guests, and all participants. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the closing ceremony of the third international conference in science, technology, engineering and mathematics IC STEM 2021. This IC STEM is the third IC STEM and UMT has been chosen to host this event. This two days event is the collaboration event between STEM Foundation Center, University Malaysia Terengganu and Educational Planning and Research Division, EPRD, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Ministry of, uh, okay, sorry. We are very honored to be hosting the conference with the theme, Integration and Implementation of STEM Education, where 794 participants are involved, consisting of presenters and attendees. Oral and poster presenters, they have shared their ideas based on the sub-themes which are pedagogy, e-learning, assessment, digital technology, best practice, curriculum, and others. Please be, be informed that this conference is fully conducted online to curb the spreading of COVID-19. Let us stay at home to fight this COVID-19 in this challenging period. Ladies and gentlemen, today's program is live at UMT Gallery and is on air through Wayback's platform, official UMT Facebook, official Pastem TV YouTube channel, official Pusat STEM Negara Facebook, and official Pusat STEM Negara YouTube channel. We begin our ceremony with doa recitation led by Ustaz Muhammad Zakaria bin Muhammad 
from Sultan Mahmud Islamic Center, UMT. Please welcome. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi wa kafa. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ibadihi alladhi nastafa. Allahumma inna nas'aluka yusra. Laysa ba'dahu usr. Wa amnan laysa ba'dahu khawf. Wa sa'adatan laysa ba'daha shaqa'a. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, all praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Blessing and your peace be on your servant, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his servant whom he has chosen. Allahumma ya Allah, we are all here in the third international conference in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, I system 2021 closing ceremony to appreciate and thank you for this opportunity. Your praises and blessings have bring us all here to share the knowledge among educators. With your praises and blessings had enabled us to run our presentation smoothly. We seek that with the aim of this event, it will benefit the students, community, society, and the ummah. Allahumma inna na'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa' وَمِنْ قَلْبِ اللَّهِ يَخْشَعْ وَمِنْ نَفْسِ اللَّهِ تَشْبَعْ وَمِنْ دَعْوَةِ اللَّهِ يُسْتَجَابُ لَهِ اللهم يا الله we seek refuge with you from knowledge that doesn't benefit from a heart that is not humbly submissive from a soul that is never satisfied and from a supplication that is not given a response اللهم يا ذا الجلال والإكرام يا الله help us to remember you to thank you and to worship you in the best of manners. Forgive us, have mercy upon us, guide us, give us health and grant us sustenance. Praise be to Allah, Lord of the universe. We seek of you the means of your mercy, the means of your forgiveness, the protection from all mistakes, the benefit from all virtue, and the freedom from all sins. Allahumma inna na'udhu bika min al-baras, wal-junoon wal judam وَمِنْ سَيِّئِ الْأَسْقَامِ Allahumma ya Allah, we seek refuge in you from leprosy, insanity, elephantiasis, and the worst of diseases. Allahumma ya Allah, the most merciful. Here we come in our weakness. In you we place our hope and trust. To you we turn in our time of need. We pray to you, ya Allah, with your blessed and mercy to live and end this COVID-19 outbreak which is threatening the whole country. In this difficult time, please let me use this tragedy to become together and unite in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma ja'al jama'ana hadha jama'an marhuma wa tafarruqna min ba'dihi tafarruqan ma'asuma wa la taj'al illahumma fina wa la ma'ana wa la shaqiyan wa la mahruma Rabbana atina fi dunya hassanah fi al-akhirati hassanah wa kina azab al-nar wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Amin, amin, ya Rabbil Alameen. Thank you, Ustaz Muhammad Zakaria Muhammad, for the du'a recitation just now. Without further ado, we would like to invite Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Mazlan Abdul Ghaffa, Vice-Chancellor of University Malaysia Terengganu, to say a few words. With that, Please welcome Yang Berbahagia Professor. Thank you, Saudari Pengusi Majlis. <coughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. A very good morning, a very good evening, sorry, to all of you. <laughs> Yang berbahagia, Professor I.R. Dr. Robiah binti Yunus, Deputy Director General, Ministry of Higher Education, Malaysia. 
Yang berbahagia Datuk Syaharuddin bin Abu Sohot, Sekretariat Division, Policy Planning and Research Division, Ministry of Higher Education, Professor TS Dr Muhammad Zamri bin Ibrahim, Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic and International University of Malaysia Terengganu, Professor Datuk Dr Noraini binti Idris, President of National STEM Association Malaysia and Ekjang Professors at UMT. Dr. Hajah Roziah binti Abdullah, Director Educational Policy Planning and Research Division, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Dr. Hajah Rosna Riza binti Abdul Halim, Director Matriculation Division, Ministry of Education Malaysia. Tuan Salim bin Abdul Ghani, Director University at eh, Terengganu State Education Department. Associate Professors Dr. Laili Binti Haji Cik Ros, Director STEM Foundation Center of UMT and Chairman of IC STEM 2021. Keynotes and Plenary Speakers. Senior Officers from Ministry of Higher Education, Ministry of Education and University of Malaysia Terengganu. Distinguished Guests, all participants, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the organizer of Third International Conference of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, or simply known as IC STEM 2021, I would like to welcome all of you to this afternoon special event the closing ceremony of the third IC STEM online conference. Before I proceed further, I would like to extend a special welcome to Yang Berbahagia Professor I.R. Dr. Robia Binti Yunus, Deputy Director General, Academic and Development, Ministry of Higher Education, who has time, has taken time of during this critical time of COVID-19 pandemic. And it is truly an honor and privilege for me to thank and welcoming all the participants in this virtual conference today. Dear attendees, the main theme of this third I system online conference is implementation of integrated STEM education in order for our country to move forward as other developing countries. The need to integrate STEM education is very necessary. Hence, it is a great honor for us. University of Malaysia Terengganu, through our STEM Foundation Center, or we call it just PASTEM, okay, to organize this conference as to furnish the, the gathering platform for as, uh, educators as well as academicians to share and exchange their knowledge to better STEM educations. We are blessed that everything was going smoothly throughout this two days event as all of the participants have showcased their remarkable research findings, their oral and poster presentations. Parallel to the main theme of this event, implementation of integrated STEM education, the objective of IC STEM is to provide a platform for connecting academic scholars worldwide to create a space for intellectual discourse or discussions, explorations and reflection of key issues that are shaping the future of STEM field today in which are the pedagogy, curriculum, assessment, digital technology, and of course, e-learning. In addition, speakers will be invited from academia to present novel technologies that produce, that address these issues. Universities play an important role as leaders in teaching and learning in education research and technology, as well as building of new institutions 
of civil society, in developing new cultural values and in training and socializing uh, people of new social era. However, according to the Malaysia's Science Academic, we have seen a reduction in percentage of our students enrolled in science streams. This condition is way behind from our national target for having at least 60 is to 40 percent Russian students in science compared to literature streams respectively. Most of our students believe that science is such a difficult field and in order to, work, to overcome the sentiment is by nurturing and importance of the importance of science and making science a piece of kid learning to them. Ladies and gentlemen, to achieve such target, target, Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, or we call it MOSTI, as well as Ministry of Education, MOHI, and Ministry of Higher Education, MOHI, have enacted the Plan Tindakan STEM National 2018-2025. Uh, there are seven objectives addressed in which are to nurturing the awareness of science stream, advancing the education qualities, enhancing the Malaysian the Malaysia research, development, commercialization and innovation sectors, widening STEM related careers opportunities, data stabilization and empowering strategic cooperations. University as well as other responsible agencies had shared the same important roles to realize this country's advancement on science, technology and innovation, we call it STIs, and we would love to encourage our youngsters to majoring in STEM. STEM empowers individuals with the skill to succeed and adapt to this increasingly complex, changing technological world. STEM is intended to lead to innovation necessary to sustain our economy. This innovation and science literacy depends on a solid knowledge based in the STEM areas. So STEM is important because it pervades every part of our life and science is everywhere in the world around us and is used to impact pupils and every living thing on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, I would like to congratulate everyone that has done their parts in succeeding this virtual conference, directly or indirectly. To conclude, let us all put our heart and soul together in realizing the mission to enhance integrated STEM education, especially to our youngsters, as we know that this promising field of knowledge will contribute a huge advancement to a better world someday. Once again, thank you all of your kind attendance. Wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. Mazlan Abdul Ghaffa, for the educative speech. Next, we would like to invite Yang Berbahagia, Professor I.R. Dr. Robia Binti Yunus, Deputy Director General at Ministry of Higher Education, Malaysia, to deliver her speech and officiate the third IC STEM 2021 closing ceremony. With that, please welcome Yang Berbahagia, Professor. Thank you very much. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Uh, yang berbahagia Profesor Dr. Mazlan bin Abdul Ghaffar, Vice Chancellor University Malaysia Terengganu. Yang berbahagia Datuk Syaharuddin bin Abdul Sohot, Division Secretary, Policy Planning and Research Division, Ministry of uh, Higher Education. Professor Technologies Dr. Muhammad Zamri bin Ibrahim, 
Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic and International University Malaysia Terengganu, Professor Datuk Dr Noraini binti Idris, uh, President of National STEM Association Malaysia, and Ajang Professor at UMT. Uh, Tuan Salim bin Abdul Ghani, Director from Terengganu State Education Department, Associate Professor Dr. Laili Binti Haji Cik Rose, uh, Director, STEM Foundation Center of UMT, as well as the Chairman of ICSEM 2021. All the keynotes and plenary speakers, uh, we have Professor Dr. Valerie Eckerson, all the way from Indiana University, Professor Dr. Kamisa Osman, University from University Kebangsaan Malaysia, Associate Professor Dr. Choi Ban Heng from National Institute of Education Singapore, Associate Professor Dr. Rachel Sheffield from Curtin University Australia, and also Dr. Kesara Amon Bu Tivon. Okay, I hope I pronounce it right. <laughs> from Simeo STEM Education Center, Thailand. Seniors officers from Ministry of Higher Education, senior officers from Ministry of Education, as well as from University of Malaysia Terengganu. Uh, please forgive me for not able to mention all the names that I have. It is a very long list yeah, of salutation here. And of course, uh, the distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and selamat sejahtera. Uh, it is a pleasure and honor to be here today for the closing ceremony of the International Conference in Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, or IC STEM 2021. First and foremost, uh, allow me to congratulate the IC STEM 2021 Organizing Committee from the Educational Policy, Planning and Research Division of the Ministry of Education, Malaysia, and the STEM Foundation Center of University of Malaysia Terengganu for successfully putting together this wonderful event. I was informed earlier by the conference committee that they managed to bring in over 790 participants. I am certain that the session earlier for the last two days were very fruitful as we have so many of you here which actually have the passion for STEM education. The team of IC STEM this year, the implementation of integrated STEM education fits well and I believe it is highly significant to various educators, including teachers, lecturers, as well as practitioners. The implementation of STEM education plan began many years ago in, 19, in 2017, which is one of the prominent initiatives under the Malaysia Education Plan 2013-2035 aimed to cultivate students' interest in learning STEM. We at the Ministry of Higher Education through our higher education institution, including public universities as well as private higher education, continuously support STEM education initiative. Under my STEM Ambassador Program, at the Department of Higher Education, which was started in 2018, have organized many events to attract school children to choose and like STEM. In 2021 alone, a total of 35 events have been planned throughout August to November. Among the events in September are Money on the Internet, a STEMpreneur, STEM Gender Equality Mission, COVID-19 and beyond the journey, e-STEM, pitpreneur, STEM is everywhere, human and nature, the nature born, the forum on ways to preserve nature, and also we have one webinar on STEM help. Besides this program that I've just mentioned, MOHI also has awarded a total of 33 research projects related to STEM education and policy worth more than 2.56 million ringgit. In 2021 alone, we have approved five FRDS projects on STEM education, amounting to more than 400,000 Malaysian ringgit. I have with me today five projects which we have approved. The first project is on some, the title is Supporting the STEM Initiative or Constructivist Framework 
to foster mathematical thinking of secondary school student. Project number two on understand teachers and unfolds holistic index for meaningful teaching practices of STEM in secondary school. Project number three in, uh, in Bahasa, modul pemikiran kreatif keusahawanan dalam pengajaran dan pemudah caraan STEM untuk pelajar sekolah menengah luar bandar. Project number four on the investigation of key element to heal tagogy and hybrid approach in hybrid model for STEM learning in higher education. And the project number five, it is on fundamental design framework for developing a computer supported collaborative learning environment in STEM education. So our networking also with schools ensures that the interest cultivated in STEM at primary and secondary school transcend to the tertiary level. Ladies and gentlemen, teaching and learning method have changed during the pandemic. It has pushed us in academia to embrace digital technology. In this digital era, accessing information online has become the new norm. This is in line with our fourth industrial revolution where we experience digital transformation and deliver real-time decision making, which leads to enhance productivity, flexibility, and agility. Jobs of the future have not yet probably been invented today. Therefore, we must shape our students into being adaptable to the technological advancement. Alongside the need to remain flexible with the ever-changing technology and education ecosystem, we, in the higher education sector, realize that academic success depends on research and publication to a greater extent. Therefore, I believe that the efforts by the Secretariat to publish participant research findings presented at this conference in a selected journal are highly commendable. This publication, which I believe will be accessible online, will help readers worldwide in gaining knowledge and source of references pertaining to STEM. After all, our roles as academics come full circle when we conduct research, publish, and teach others the new findings in our field. Ladies and gentlemen, I once again would like to thank and congratulate the organizers for the wonderful job done at this event. On that note, I hereby with the lafaz Bismillahirrahmanirrahim officially close the International Conference in Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics 2021. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia, Professor I.R. Dr. Robia Binti Yunus for the delightful speech. Before we announce the best presentations during this conference, the IC STEM organizer had prepared a montage video showing all of the activities held in this two days program. Now we present you the montage video. Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. On behalf of the MT STEM Foundation as the organizer, a warm welcome and selamat datang to all of you. Heartfelt gratitude is extended to all distinguished speakers and participants for coming and participating in this I System 2021. وجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل اللهم فينا ولا معنا ولا شقيا ولا محروما This morning for the conference opening ceremony Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen I would like to extend my warmest welcome to all Bismillahirrahmanirrahim I hereby declare the International Conference on Science Technology, Engineering and Mathematics 2021 officially open. Thank you.
websites for your perusal. Any inquiries can be made via the WhatsApp numbers given on the posters. throughout the session and please be sure to fill in the attendance form. Thank you, Mrs. Hanfel. Alright, questions from the floor? And the average mean is 5, which is 4.21. The percentage. One question, okay, uh, regarding to your slide, uh, modeling of... Okay, thank you. So macam sekarang ni atas mesti ada kawan So kalau macam yang satu macam tu Gis berbeza sikit lah Tapi kalau orang tak nak berstand Kalau orang tak nak berstand Kalau orang tak nak berstand Three, well done, day one ICSTEM 2021, everyone. See you all tomorrow. Nina, thank you to everyone, Karina. Bye. I hope everyone has enjoyed themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess this is the most awaited moment. For your information, we display the posters in our IC STEM websites for your perusal. 
Not only are the posters displayed, but there are voice notes attached to make it interactive. From there, the panels evaluate the, the posters. The awards will be given to each category. I will now announce the best presentation in the third IC STEM 2021. The best poster presenter category pedagogy goes to Mr. Byron Michael Kadum from College Matikolasi Lab One. Next, Best Poster Presenter Category Best Practice. The award goes to Norhamira Muhammad Taib from SPP Integrasi Batu Rakit. Next, Best Poster Presenter Category Assessment goes to Kong Suet Lee from College Matikulasi, Perak. Next, Best Poster Presenter Category E-Learning. The award goes to Shakirin Ahmad Bakari from College Matikulasi, Perak. Next, Best Poster Presenter, Category Digital Technology. The award goes to Wan Azrini, Wan Muhammad Juhari from College Matikola Si Pahang. Next, Best Poster Presenter Category Others. The award goes to Mr. Ismail Yaakob from College Matikola Si Kelantan. For Best Oral Presentation Award, we have one winner in one room in a day. For day one, room number one, category pedagogy. Goes to Mr. Byron Michael Kadum from College Matikola C. Lab 1. Room 2, Category Pedagogy. The award goes to Rohayu Binti Yusuf from College Matikola C. Johor. Next, Room 3, Category Best Practice. The award goes to Siti Marshita binti Zakaya from SMK Dato Abdul Rahman Yaakob Perak. Next, room four, category digital technology. The award goes to Sanjay Anak Lelaki Pradip Kumar. From College Matriculasi Melaka. Next, Room 5, Category Others. The award goes to Ahmad Basri bin Ruslan from Sekolah Menengah Sains Pendang. Next, Room 6, Category 
others and uh, others curriculum and e-learning the award goes to Vijaya Anak Perempuan Bala Krishnan from SK Taming Jaya Selangor Next room 7 category assessment and best practice the award goes to Raja Kumar Anak Lelaki Ramachandran from College Matikulasi Melaka Next for day 2 day 2 room 1 category pedagogy the award goes to Again for the third time Mr Byron Michael Kadum from College Matikulasi Labuan Next room 2 category pedagogy the award goes to Anutra Sirisena from SMJK Chungwa Tenom Sabah Next Room 3 category best practice the award goes to Azlina binti Ahmad Yasin from Bahagian Biasiswa dan Pembiayaan Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia, Cawangan Cyberjaya. Next, Room 4, Kategori Digital Technology. The award goes to Sharifah Nurul Ain Balkis binti Syed Muhammad from College Martikulasi Pahang. Next, Room 5, Category Others. The award goes to Nor Haslina binti Daman Huri from SMK Convent. Next, Room 6, Category Others, Curriculum and E Learning. The award goes to Muhammad Afiq bin Anwar from College Tingkatan 6 Desa Mahkota Next and the last award Room 7 Category Assessment and Best Practice The award goes to Ainul Ezatul Farah binti Muhammad Taha from College Matikulasi Selangor Congratulations to all winner. With all the honorable guests here with us today, let us capture this precious moment by taking photos together. With that, all guests are invited to turn on your camera for a while for a photography session. In the count of one, two, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, 
eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. One last shot, freestyle. Thank you. With that, our closing ceremony has come to the end. On behalf of the third IC STEM 2021 organizer, I would like to extend the gratitude and thank you to Yang Berbahagia Professor IR Dr. Robia Binti Yunus, Deputy Director General at Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia, Yang Berbahagia Dr. Mazlan bin Abdul Ghaffa, Vice Chancellor of UMT, and all our distinguished guests. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you to all.